Let's look at question one for this particular set. The diagram below shows a bacterium that we have here. Uh, what structure does the part labelled X identify? So we've got a central structure within this bacterium and you can notice a lot of the peripheral structures. Peripheral just means on the side of the bacteria. Um, and they've given us a variety of different options that start with N. Nucleus, nucleoid, nucleolus or nuclear membrane. So if you go back to your prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell differences, we know that one particular difference is that prokaryotic cells, I'm just going to write that on the side here, prokaryotic versus eukaryotic cells, these have naked DNA and they're not actually bound by a membrane. So you've just got free DNA floating around in the jelly of the cytoplasm. Eukaryotic cells instead, they have a nucleus which is membrane bound. And this composes of a nucleolus as well as a nuclear membrane around it. So just based on that, relatively simple. Nucleus is eukaryotic, nucleolus is also eukaryotic as well as a nuclear membrane. Therefore you can get rid of B, sorry not B, you can't get rid of B, you can get rid of A, C and D. With well, the correct answer being B. So it's a nucleoid or naked DNA. What do prokaryotic cells have that eukaryotic cells do not? Um, so let's look at prokaryotic cells first. We know that they do not have mitochondria. So it's not A. 70S ribosomes. Some people might get confused between 70S and 80S ribosomes, and we'll talk about that in, this, in a second. How about histones? Do they have them? Well, histones are part of um, chromosomes. So a chromosome, quickly run through this again, is composed of DNA as well as DNA, which is deoxyribonucleic acid, plus a protein, and that protein is called histones. So in this case, it's not histone because that's associated with eukaryotic cells. Internal membranes. Internal membranes are talking about structures such as the rough endoplasmic reticulum, as well as the Golgi apparatus, as well as the mitochondria as well. So these are not associated with that. So it is B. So we talked a bit before about ribosomes, and they're actually present in both prokaryotic as, as well as eukaryotic cells. However, they're actually different. So just to remember, so we talk about prokaryotic cells in P, as well as eukaryotic cells E, okay? And what type of ribosomes do they have? Well, there are two main types of ribosomes. There are 70S as well as 80S. And it actually works like this. So you can do PE, 70S, 80S. But just know that prokaryotic cells are relatively primitive and they prefer smaller numbers. So they're like, so 70S. Whereas eukaryotic cells, they're bigger, they're better. So they're 80, they've got a bigger number. That's an easy way for you to remember. Question three. Which of the following are features of prokaryotes and eukaryotes? Just talked about the ribosomes before. So straight away we know that 70S ribosomes are pro prokaryote and 80S ribosomes are eukaryote. So in this case we can cross out B and C because this is incorrect. Now we have to look at naked DNA as well as DNA associated with proteins. Remember before, back in either question one or two, I believe it was question one, we talked about DNA associated with proteins is found in eukaryotes. What is that called? Correct, histones. They're the histone proteins that we find. So this answer is correct. Is DNA associated, associated with proteins of prokaryotes? No. And if you double check over here, naked DNA with prokaryotes? Yes. With eukaryotes? No. We talked about how eukaryotes have um, a, a nuclear membrane surrounding the nucleolus which composes the nucleus. Therefore, the, question, the answer to the question is A. Finally, question four. What is the difference between the structure of all prokaryotes and all eukaryotes? So, 
Let's look at A, eukaryotes, no cell wall. Well, eukaryotes actually include plant cells as well. So therefore, this is incorrect. Prokaryotes and eukaryotes, B, chloroplasts. Prokaryotes can have chloroplasts, that's correct. But eukaryotes, which once again include plant cells, also can include chloroplasts as well. So the fact that it says no chloroplast makes it wrong. C, flagellum, as well as no flagellum. So prokaryotes, yes, they can have flagellum, that's fine. But eukaryotes sometimes can have flagellum as well. Not all the time. So this one, in this case, it's wrong. So that really leaves us with D. Prokaryotes having a nucleoid, correct. Whereas eukaryotes, they have a nuclear envelope. That is also correct as well. Question number five. So we had a look at this diagram in an earlier video. It says in, in this diagram, what does a label X identify? So we're looking once again at the center of this uh, cell. Um, and what would it point to? These two cells were bacterial cells, which it doesn't say in the question, but we know from the previous uh, presentation that we've done. A, nucleoid region. Yeah, it could be. It could be a nucleoid region where the center, the center piece usually contains all that DNA. So it possibly could be this, but let's look at the other options first. Chromatin. Chromatin is found in eukaryotic cells, not in simple prokaryotic bacterial cells. So it's not this one. Same, similar again with histones. DNA plus histones equals chromosomes. Chromosomes are found in eukaryotic cells, but not prokaryotic cells. Endoplasmic reticulum. So these are once again membrane. These are membrane bound structures that are found in eukaryotes, but not prokaryotes. So therefore it's not D. So therefore our correct answer is A over here. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out. Just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right hand corner. Thanks.